Hey guys, what's up? It's Chunks, and welcome to Clash of Saiyans. On today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Builder Hall Guide and how to use Baby Dragons on this. Now, if you can get your Baby Dragons up to level 10, you will have 12 of them, which gives you a significant amount to take out many of the bases. Now, the first key that you want to do is you want to be able to identify where the air targeting towers are. These are going to be the air bombs, the firecrackers, and you can add the archer towers on there as well as the Tesla, but the Tesla is a little bit harder to figure out where it's at. Also, we want to use the battle machine to clean up trash and give us access to one of the air targeting buildings. This will give us the ability to take it out pretty easily. Third step is we are going to want to work baby dragons around the base so that way they are able to just slowly chip away at working at the base. And then we want to have those baby dragons spread out enough so that way we can keep them raged up. Um, having them not rage takes away their big ability and their big advantage. And then finally, um, we are going to want to replace the baby dragons as they die off. You don't want to drop them all at once because then they will clump up and then lose their rage ability. And finally, we want to be patient with the baby dragons. Like I said, don't drop them all at once. Once you let go of the troop, you no longer control where the troop is going to go. And so they will eventually probably start clumping up as they take out buildings. We'll go ahead and jump into another replay. Um, once again, like I said, first step, identify where the air targeting main buildings are and see if you can easily take out any of them. Um, on this one, they have the air bombs close to the outside. So getting the battle machine down, trying to take out that air bomber is pretty easy. I'm able to get a few hits on it and then send an A baby dragon to go ahead, finish it off. And then one of the other key things you want to do as you're spreading these baby dragons around um, the base is if you see one tanking and you can sneak in other baby dragons around them to go ahead and start working, use that to your advantage. As you can see, the firecracker down at around seven o'clock was working on one baby dragon while another was in there rage taking it out. So use your baby dragons to your advantage. Don't just send one in at a time and let it die off and then send in another one. But you want to make sure that you do keep them where they're not so clumped up together that they do stay raged up. Like I said, having them raged is one of the benefits of the baby dragon. So you want to maximize that and use that to your full potential. You'll see a lot of times often on these attacks that a single or maybe two baby dragons are up in the end. And the fact that they are raged is what allows them to succeed and take out finishing off the base. For the three star, um, all of these replays today are going to be three stars. Not every single time you will get a three star, but this strategy is very strong and will allow you to actually get a lot of three stars. Um, once again, though, use the battle machine to go ahead and start tanking. Um, sometimes you can use him to tank an archer tower if it is close to the outside and then sneak in a baby dragon and go ahead and take it out. Um, as you can see down at the three o'clock, four o'clock area, there's not a lot of air targeting um, big buildings down there. There's no firecracker, there's no air bombs. So just two baby dragons are able to take out that archer tower, take out the little troops running around down there. And then, as you can see, the other baby dragons start working around the base on the air bomber tower. You can see um, one dragon was about to die off. And just as that's happening, another one goes in. So like I said, slowly keep replacing the baby dragons and working around the base um, will allow you to succeed very well. It'll allow you to maximize those rage abilities because you won't have a ton of baby dragons working in the same area. But as you can see right there, down at the bottom side where seven was, the baby dragon took out the firecracker. And then another baby dragon was coming in just as it was working on that final Tesla um, to replace it as it died off. So like I said, just keep working around the base. Keep those baby dragons raged up and then just slowly replace them as they begin to die off. So we'll come into another one again. As you can see, there's not really any air targeting buildings down at the bottom. So sending a single baby dragon down there will allow to clean up the trash. And then just using that battle machine to go ahead and start tanking for the archer tower. The ones on the ground or the lower cut archer towers do do significant amount of damage. So you want to be able to take those out. If you see a few of those having your battle machine, be able to tank those is very significant. Um, like I said, replacing baby dragons, you see the one at seven is about to die. That firecracker actually has one additional help hit point left on it. 
a little bit of help, and then the other one was coming in to replace it, uh, but they would both end up staying together. So that way they are able to move on throughout the base. Uh, but like I said, just slowly keep replacing those guys. Don't let them die off and then just leave a building with one hit left. You want to make sure that um, as they're tanking, you have another one going in there. So that way the one coming in can just pick up right where everything was left off. Um, you know, and just keep working through that base. Uh, as you can see, the baby dragons are a very strong troop. Um, there's some other strategies out there. You've seen the mass barbarian strategy. You've seen the giant archer strategy. What I like about the baby dragons is it's focusing on one troop. It's able to get up to level 10 relatively quick. You don't have to um, worry kind of like the giant strategy where you possibly sometimes need the bombers. Um, you need the giants leveled up. You need the archers leveled up for it all to be effective. So it's multiple troops and a limited resources of attack. So the baby dragon allows you to just focus on one troop, get that up. And then once you have that troop, at level 10. As you can see, my battle machine is only level 2. Um, I'm working on currently getting him up to level 5 now. And then once he gets to level 5, I will probably continue to finish leveling up the baby dragons at Builder Hall 6 and then work on two other attacks. Um, but as you can see, the baby dragons at level 10 are still very strong. This is a Town Hall 6. The guy has the additional Archer Tower. The But he has the additional buildings. And so having the baby dragons just working around, um, coming into that roaster, um, it does do additional damage. So you have to be patient. Like I said, watch those baby dragons and just continue to keep sneaking them in. And you can actually take out Builder Hall 6s. I believe uh, this is actually the last replay. I have hit a few Builder Hall 6s and been able to take them out. It just comes down to being patient, though, like I said, and following the steps, working those baby dragons around, keeping them raged and then just slowly replacing them as they die off. Uh, but that's going to wrap up things for today, guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the bottom, and I will try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. But until next time, guys, this is Trunks helping you guys stay over 9,000.